uh, this month here in November. Hey guys, um, I'm doing this video because I'm going to share um, two visions the Lord gave me. Uh, he gave me a vision on the night of the uh, 25th and 26th of uh, this month here in November, 2011. Um, I'm going to share them with you because I feel led to. The first one was, um, I was standing and I was looking over this huge field and there was people just um, walking aimlessly through the field and uh, you know they're all looking for scraps um, they, they were just looking for anything there it was potatoes you know and they were there wasn't any um, full potatoes there was like in some places there was um, just a half a skin of a potato things like that and, and people were so hungry that like a little child went to reach for a potato and an adult pushed him out of the way pushed the little girl out of the way to um, to get that piece of potato so these people were so hungry that they would even take um, a piece of food away from their children and you know when I say field I mean just hundreds of acres of just barren field you know what I mean and, and people are just everywhere walking looking at the ground trying to get something to eat they're starving and um, you can see the desperation on their faces they're just lost and when I turned around to my right I seen a trail of potatoes for as far as the eye could see and I mean you know potato 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 like and I thought to myself wow I, I have enough potatoes here you know for forever you know this is amazing how is this you know these people over here they have nothing they're scrounging they're, you know the adults are pushing over children to get a scrap and and I turn around and I see that I have you know all just big beautiful looking potatoes all the way for as far as the eye can see and I'm thinking this is amazing you know I'm so so lucky to have these you know this potatoes here and uh, the next part of that vision is uh, I'm back in with my old buddies in construction and uh, we're talking and they're talking about things of the world you know and I step in and say because I know that they're aware of the field they're aware of the situation um, of how people are looking and starving to eat and I step in and I say hey man you know let me tell you what the Lord's done for me you know you know all those people with the field and I go to tell them my story and, and when I started to talk they listened to me but as I said let me tell you what the Lord's done for me they go ah and they go back to their own worldly conversation and every time I try to jump in and intercede with a story from the Lord and what he did for me with the potatoes and how I'm not starving and I have a surplus of potatoes. I wanted to share that with them. And well, since I mentioned anything of the Lord, they tell me, ah, get out of here. And they go back to talking about the world. Now, that was that vision. And when I asked the Lord, I said, what does this mean, Lord? Because I knew it was a vision. And um, he told me that the people in the field who were looking for scraps, who were pushing over their own children to eat, who walk around aimless with just lost faces and they're in desperation that these people do not listen do not seek him and because I seek him because I love him and because he's granted you know granted me mercy that he told me I will always provide for you I'll always provide for your family um, you will always have what you need so because I follow Jesus, because I love Jesus and chase Jesus, he graced me with all these potatoes, okay? And to the people who didn't follow, they're just lost, walking aimlessly, you know, searching for scraps. And he showed me that with my old buddies that as soon as I mentioned the Lord's name, they didn't want to hear it. He showed me 
these people who do not want to hear me, who won't listen to anything about me, are the ones who will be out here searching for scraps. Those who seek me, I provide for. But see, these people openly didn't want to hear about him. They made a, a conscious decision not to listen to the things of the Lord. They didn't want to hear about the Lord and what he did. So it was basically telling me, because you follow me, because you love me, and you're trying to seek me with all your heart, I will provide for you. But these people here, you're trying to tell them, and they're not going to listen to you. You know, some people just aren't going to listen, and they're going to be left to wander aimlessly looking for scraps.